Yep. Yeah, so built is on going on a year now. Still haven't stained it. Um, haven't really seen the need to stain it, though I'm going to. It's uh, holding up to the elements really well. I bought a well quality jacket. I didn't go to the thick box store. So what you see here is 25 by 25. We went over there before. About 26 tons of gravel and blocks surrounding it. Retaining wall blocks. Um, what is retaining wall blocks? Uh, 16 by 8. So we have one of them around the perimeter, increasing to two, to three, to that. And on top, we have silk screen, that same screen. And as you can see, it's solid as a rock. Why did you use the retaining wall blocks? Why do you have a retaining wall? Because the, the, the slope, in order to address the slope and still have it straight to when you walk in, I had to encapsulate basically the gravel. Okay. In order to maintain uh, a strong footing for the uh, for the deck to lay on, because there's no bounce and there's no flex. So, um, what is the silk screening again? Silk screening is basically stone that's been real fine stone and uh it, it's like emulate it emulates sand oh, but okay whereas sand washes away silk screening doesn't and silk screening can pack so uh obviously you know i have for drainage as well i have um uh my base way under this compacted and i have large gravel medium gravel and then the silk screening on top okay back there is about maybe a four four to five foot drop straight down Oh, they had to be built up. Let me see if we can get a shot of it. Uh, but that's not taking into account how deep, you know, how deep we had to dig in order to provide a good base for the block, and then it's three blocks coming up. So I, I want this. I want to say here yeah, somewhere like uh, maybe three feet, three and a half, something like that. Four minutes. Okay. Do you have any dead spots on it? The only dead spots that I have are way, way back here at the very edge because I ran out of gravel and it was like, I don't put so much money into this thing and I didn't want to make another trip and I didn't want to have too much left over because I just needed a little bit to fill in the top and he's not bouncing the ball and doing drills back here so yeah. he didn't make anything. Okay. So that, those two war boards that I see in the corner, that's not the part of the court. No. That's just wood that's sitting right there. Yeah, that's just some crap I got there. Because I didn't, I was going to grade my uh, my grass on that side and build it up on this side. But instead of grading it, you know, winter, winter time, sun's, you know, in the season right now, so we're not out here as much. So I just playing with ideas on how to build that up or, you know, to, to match the, the earth that's coming in to meet the earth mm -hmm. that's coming into it. So basically I'm just gonna do a mixture of gravel and sand. So um, how do you like the wood court? It's phenomenal. You know, for everyone that tries to say this is silly, um, you know, I'm not gonna throw shots, but it doesn't make any sense when there's wood, outdoor wood applications all over the world. And this is decking that's doing, essentially, if I created a floating deck, in the, which people do in the middle of the yard. There's no difference between a floating deck. Yeah. We just we just supported the bottom of it, or rather the, under the deck to play basketball. It's like a mental shift where if you see a floating deck or you see an outdoor wood application, it's nice, but then as soon as you say, hey, that's a basketball court, then they say, what? You can't. Yeah, yeah it's kind of like and a mental. People were saying splinters and slime. And <laughs> yeah. This is untreated. Just been sitting out here, I've done nothing to it. So this has been, this has been almost a year, and you can see, look at how even it is. It has not bowed or flexed, and it's been about a year. And then the one that we did in Fayetteville yeah. is two years. Mm -hmm. And it's just like this. Of course, I, I stained mine. 
we have to wait. You haven't stained this one. Not yet. Nope. And I'm going to. Yeah. And I'm, I'm debating whether I'm going to do a real high quality tongue oil or uh, just a little Thompson weather seal. I, I'd rather not. Uh, tongue oil will give it the, the richest and the depth of color that I'm looking for. Also, the oil will penetrate and uh, saturate the wood. It won't allow water to penetrate. Because all you really need is oil, right? Isn't stain is oil? Oil. Yeah. Oil. People mix with oil and varnish. And these different things. They thin it out. Um, but I think I'm going to do a tongue oil. Okay. Yeah. What is? Tell me about this cork. Yeah, that's the bear system. The portable. Uh, the uh, that's the uh, what is that again? That's the uh, big boy. That looks like seventy-two. Yeah, seventy-two. That's it. Mm -hmm. What is about five or six inches of uh, solid uh, glass. Um, it has a counterweight, and the reason I chose that is because of this being my backyard. Wanted to, to do events. If I want to have a party out here and set up a pavilion, I move the court. In that court, you can dunk on it. It's mm -hmm. not gonna break. It's oh, not yeah. gonna tip over. Never. Yeah. So it's this adjustable, is adjustable, super duper easy to adjust. Um, and this mimics exactly what you're gonna find in every single gym. It's the same exact court. Yeah, because that's solid. I threw a ball on there. Yeah, we do. It does not shake or anything. So you, it's good practice. There's a lot of goals in people's yards. The backboard shakes. So when you get good layups and stuff, it doesn't mimic a game, so. But yeah, and then I, I, I like to keep my balls outside for my son because I want them to be slippery. I want him to dribble and handle and shoot with the ball in the most unoptimal condition. So when he gets in the game, that's what we call it. Okay. Yeah, outdoor wood basketball court is unconventional. Is rare. I think I've only seen two. <laughs> yeah. This one and the one in Fayetteville. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but when you play on cement for years and years and years, 13 years old, 14 years old, 15 years old, 16 years old, you're gonna pay for that. So. And that's the other thing back here with it's not as solid. I actually like it because it has a slight, slight, slight flex, but jumping and you know doing long threes from here and him landing, it's such low impact mm -hmm. on his knees and his joints. Yeah. And I actually favor it mm -hmm. because it does bounce good. It bounces oh, good. that you're talking about the spots in the corner. Just, yeah, just, just a few back rows. Yeah. But when he jumps and he shoots, it just gives it, it just takes the impact away. And but you wouldn't even have that if we had got all the gravel anyways. Yeah, but I, I kind of learned to like it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I kind of was like, oh, because I was going to take the boards back up and actually when seeing him shoot and because the ball bounces the same mm -hmm. it's just a a, a slight this is a tiny uh, uh spongy not yeah because like the because the, the bounce is fantastic on the whole thing anyway it's not like a deck a lot of people online they say oh i bounced the ball on a deck this is not a deck that there's two by fours every 18 feet or whatever yeah. where there's a spongy this Every surface of this wood is touching. So when I look, when we looked at the, the outdoor court systems, they, they're uber expensive, the tiles, sports courts and stuff like that. Essentially, it's the same exact thing when you're doing compacted gravel mm -hmm. with a surface on top. Yeah. This is just the same thing. And some people do the sport court on top of a cement block. Yeah. Which is kind of like... Hard, you know that. And they, they yeah. I've gone to people's houses and they say, oh, this is good for your body. And you know, this is, but you're on top of a cement. Mm -hmm had with really hard plastic yeah so unless you're putting it on sand or yep, dirt yep, yep. or some that silk screening mm -hmm. you might as well just play on cement and the price that they were given to come out unseen and you know they didn't even know they had to build this up and grade it and all of that stuff it was like man this is no way yeah so it rains yeah so and if, if, if it rains and then <laughs> it stops raining yeah that's one thing a lot of people have asked mm -hmm. me on mine, it dries pretty quick. Yeah, it completely drains because you know this this feet of earth, gravel, you know, um, for the water to drain through. You know, it doesn't sit on top of it. It goes through the cracks, and it's you know it's not shallow. There's so much gravel under here that it just completely, mm -hmm. you know, soaks in, it soaks through. Yeah. Yeah. And so, then it goes into the earth under. Yeah. Yep. It's completely drained. It's nice. Mm -hmm. 
No weeds, no nothing. Nothing is growing in this. Nothing is grown in mine in two years. Mm -hmm. and there's no plants in there, period. Yeah. There's no bugs. It's just, it's just been working. Mm -hmm. It's nice. You don't got to worry about the injuries and all that. You know, yeah. it's... It's not slippery. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. So that's an outdoor wooden basketball court. Yes, sir.